Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser, Imperium! Well, Imperium clearly are not... Um, hey, Michael, would you please shoot? <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of embarrassing things happen to me in my career. That may have been the most embarrassing thing ever, and Saxton. At a combined weight of 532 pounds, Chad Gable and Otis, the Alpha Academy. You know, Alpha Academy may look... combined weight of 482 pounds. Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Degeneration X. The tension building for this match is so thick you can... What is going on? Guys? Reese Abbott, I'm here. Well, back in the video. I'm going to talk about some of the screen. Here's another episode of the WWE 2K24 Universe Fan Series. More specifically, an episode of BCP. Where in this show, they will be... Four number one contenders back today. You're watching the first one here. A triple threat tornado tag team match between the team of Otis Tagable, making the Alpha Academy, Giovanni Vinci and the Kaiser, making up Imperium, and the former world champion, the former BCP, the you know, team champion, you played two miles of sex blue. Going back to the good old days, pulling off the speed on those tracks, looking to regain gold around their waist in the kind of tag team division. And, um, I know it's before Marcus is in the XD, there's a glitch. I don't know if it's on the green, it's kind of finicky, but it's not that like you download certain C tasks. <laughs> Which, that means it's not letting me install uh, a downloaded attire for Sean Michaels, my favourite player, so it's deep generation. But anyway, uh, yeah, and then we have the next matches for the Monk Membership for the World Hole. It's a battle for way match. Then it's a women's the match, and then I hate these people being a kingdom championship contender match. So then we're the four matches I have for you today. I am recording this straight after the payback my GM pay to do episode. And uh, yeah, let's just get into the match commentary. The team seems to be going after Alpha Academy here. Just out of attacking with the Kaiser. Giovanni Vinci tries to choose from behind. Which is like drop to you with the program after making this. Oh, just a roll up. He kicks out instantly. Maybe that was just a kick. Well, if he kicks out for the record, he's going to one count. The generation X going after both tag teams here. Little big sense hunter into the corner, chopped to the throat. Pulled over to Drew Vinci. Yeah, I've said Drew Vinci. I'm pretty sure. Oh, fuck's sake, it's Giovanni Vinci, fuck dickhead. Oh, absolute dinger. Quickly applies a side headlock. Vinci now entering the ring to play for combination. Northern Lord Suplex. Still more push to tell for the record, get a one camera. To play for the tower, to touch the three challenges, which went by, sitting in with a spine disgust. Power slam by Giovanni. The third French with the pin attempt. I can't believe it. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is 
German suplex by Triple H is taking partner and heartbreaking. Shawn Michaels now looking to drop Chad or with a pedigree. But Chad will be guys who are into a pullback close on. That's the game with breath here on the outside. What is he looking to grab? End of a sledgehammer. Attacking Otis with the sledgehammer. No drop in Chad Gable. As Vincent is out of the two. Oh, Mungia for coming on the outside. And Scott Aitor is trying to put in the Olympic pose with the sledgehammer. Chad Gable re entering the ring for the pose with the sledgehammer. Oh, so much of that drop it and drop his good spot punch him in the kidneys and in the top of the way. Having that back suplex, it was fantastic that they've been dropped in the close to see the way. Then they shook out for the single knee drop. We might have been trying to make the flags tough, but no success as he's got some delta. You've only been through the game until the next game now, but you look like you've got to tell us it was. Jordan Schumacher. And meanwhile, Giovanni Vinci. Not a close line hurt. Holding on for more. And a second. And a third time of the charm. Will that be the case? Okay, okay. Going back up to the Vicoza. Dropping the foot on them in prestige. They're choking the Dallas Olympics as Altus has got with the Suplex Powerbomb. Going into the cover, but for Altus is open, I think they can. This is Triple H looking in for another single new face. This is the first one. Oh boy, Rob Waters is tied down outside the ring. And Triple H is now trying to manage his strokes to Chad Gable. Triple H breaks up the pin. Triple H crosses the leg of Giovanni. Otis over the knee for the midsection. Punch the midsection. The Otis from the end of the game. Otis over the other part of the way. Triple H just takes the ball and can break up on the rest of the game. He can't believe it. Wolfing stamping an end to this. Going in for the pin. Oh, she just gets in the ring. And he, and he breaks the up at two. Jesus Christ, I don't think he's going to be broken up then. Oh, oh, that guy, that Switch in the music. Oh, it's going to turn into the cover. That guy breaks it. Fuck off. She breaks the knee to the midsection. Got Ludwig Kaiser in position, put the high pedigree, still going into the pin. Oh, so guy will have to break it. Kaiser down to down into the pin. The chip has picked up the rock and got a one count. The guy is now looking to drop Tau Gable with a pedigree. This is going to be a long match, isn't it? Back here. Back here. Really just it in. Oh, it's going to be a long match, isn't it? It's going to be a there turns attention to Otis. Going into the pin. And DJ, that's the strong and number one contender. The BCB to be taking his family. Not only after losing their singles, but they stand for the next match of evening, guys. The American Nightmare is here.
The son of a son of a plumber looking to continue the Rhodes legacy. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. He does have to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. Here comes the Austrian anomaly, Gunther. A man with one purpose, to prove the math sacred. And his opponents, first representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunther! Six foot four, 265 pounds, Gunther is steadfast, commanding, imposing. He is the ring general for a reason. Untouchable and unmatched in the ring. And don't forget, unrelenting. Gunther never lets up and never backs down. Gunther is always ready to demolish anyone who dares come in his path. And if you don't respect... And from Austin, Texas, weighing in at 289 pounds, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. In the history of the world, Latino Heat. And from El Paso, Texas, Weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. And without question, one of the most... Well, uh, here for the second match of the evening, guys. Battle four-way match, match between Gunther, Eddie Guerrero, and the son of Father Guerrero, Cody and Dusty Rhodes. Father Guerrero's son of BC, PW. Gunther being the form of BC, I think he's even on your BC, PW. I've been talking about him, but he's been having a really square week. Six stars in the recording series, but being on Salvo, I said two months, that was. So it's two months, two weeks since the recording. No, three weeks since the recording. Oh, come on, Cole's not being sadistic. It's about being smart. Two guys, two months, two guys. No There's no safety net and no disqualification match. That's a big factor in succeeding. But as I was saying, going for being a fun BCPW Nice King Champion, just like Shawn Michaels earlier, but he's now getting a title opportunity. Going for hoping to go up in the rankings of BCPW to become the world champion. And what a hard defense to turn this against. He's probably commanding the world champion. As I was saying, he's looking up against the ranks. Go up in the ranks. Just so like another former beast, he didn't know if he didn't want to get more gold around that waist of his. Cody Rhodes second dad on the outside. As Eddie Burrows dragging him for over to the ropes with a Japanese arm drag. Full arm to the face. DD2 by Dusty Rhodes. Eddie Guerrero kicks out for the ref and get a one count. Dusty Rhodes drops it some of the hit toss. Going for their guy after the American Dream. Winning STO. Eddie Guerrero is not low in the stealing this match. The powerful ending is no disqualification. 
go for clever around here so I just saw some American the American dude just go to the other way the cow going and then STL drops it single knee drop connect What is his own signature? Because I don't like the fact, admittedly. <laughs> I feel like he should have a clothesline as like a fucking. Definitely should have a clothesline as that, yeah, signature off of it. And it's on my head. Oh no, but he does. I thought oh, you should have started coming from the end, I thought. Oh, Henry Cobras as he goes for drops his father, drops a Pedro and Eddie Guerrero, just a little scumpy in the ring. We're oh, going for a pick, Chuck Cody Rhodes. Oh, oh, power bomb, they go into the cover. Eddie Guerrero kicks up, strikes the kid. Sends going for over to the ropes and drops him over in the European uppercut. Going for re-enter the ring, close to close on, close to but he gets dropped with a close on himself from behind. Oh, the other way out. So you've got to do now, ducks underneath Gunter with a Hurricane and Rana have the comfort smash the back of his head off the side of And Rose now turns his attention to the Hing and Aral. From an inch, he shows off his strength and hits him with a vertical suplex. The Cobbler looks like he went into the cross of his own bad story and coming. As Eddie Grail drops in, he's got my takedown, scraping his foot across the face. And Rose, as Eddie Grail opens his shoulders, drops his foot first on top of the snake eyes. So the Russian leg sweep, leg drop, but. Just to Rose Rose out of the way, Eddie Brown now with control of his strength from the seat to just and drops one ball with a snap back for the seat. Cody Rose with a cut stick in hand, smacks out the ways that grabs it, and pulls him in from the low kick as Cody, when Cody was a troll. Green ball drop kick, going for from behind now, with a pull back clothesline, drop kick from Rose. Which one? Cody. You saw the original, how about the director's cap? Going for now. With an inverted suplex. Super kick to the two rows. Follows up with a swinging neck breaker. And he's so driving the hand. Going off, steady grow. They're trying to hit the strokes a bit as he's getting up right on the face. So the road's not going to be happy with that. Three boards, so he's just reversed by Gunter. And they're coming around, slamming to the map. He gets to go back up. Four on. Going for with the reversal. He deflects it. Yeah, cross lane. Figure four by Cody Rhodes, but he breaks up the pin attempt on Dusty. Out of the way in time. It's absolute pain. Four on to the back. And it's all because Going for now, falling back. Into a atomic drop by Dusty Rhodes. But he's going to slip with a sleeper slam. Drop kick from the down. Well, drop kick if you go to me. Full arm to the face of the American dream, but he gets to go back up to his feet. And a bar and a cowboy to Eddie Guerrero. Cody Rhodes had to break up the pin of his father. Cody Rhodes slaps his dad. The Gunther breaks up the pin. Eddie Guerrero found back. What's on there? Cody Rhodes with a crossroads. Hip attack to Eddie Guerrero. They're going into the cover. One, two, and Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, Eddie Guerrero can break through the rest of the one cut. Gunther using his knowledge, drops to the DMT, busts him wide open. And Gunther got turned around there. Three good drop kick to work for the Lingalara. And he drops Eddie Guerrero right, Eddie Guerrero's flat on back in that one, so he gets three punches to the middle. Gunther now with a pullback right, Eddie Guerrero with another reversal. 
Cody Rhodes going after his own car on the outside, but it is a suplex launched. He has dropped the suplex. Cody Rhodes is going for the outside, feel it. Lifts up Eddie Guerrero and drops with a powerbomb. The dusty from behind sends him into the ropes. Good front back on the clothes then. Cody Rhodes' father. Heading back to the ring as Cody Rhodes and Cody Rhodes. This match may be nearly done. Cody Rhodes' father. Drops Cody and Cody Rhodes. Elbow to the back of Eddie Guerrero. Also, also disrespect to one of the two old comes in this business. Just mocking their opponent. Oh, my God, Ross. Went in for the crossroads. As this rolls a close, we'll see how now we're in Bell Farmer and some growth of each other's winning attempts. This is going up for the pin. One. And Cody Rhodes kicks out at one. One point eight guys, Cody. Single knee drop to the arm. Then an elbow right to the shoulder. Brindle round out. Looking for the suplex. As Gunther gets up to his feet, Eddie looks to escape the Right, this is with a bomb of the cowboy for the ring, get our out, going in for the cover. The girl is out to break the break away. Just the road's proving yes, that would be the only card to spin in this match. It's probably the same one I was going to use the past. I like great looks to your roads. But even though we may be the oldest, he's putting up one ahead of us. So he's going to look just got to simple up. We've got Bobby Brown up. We've got world champion of Bunk Thunder. One, two, three. The ring get around for the goal. We'd like to face the Undertaker to become BCB the new world champion. Is here. Jendo stick in hand, ready for a fight. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, Cora J. As far as Cora is concerned, no one measures up to her. Dakota Kai has arrived. A truly dangerous woman, even if she's on your side. And from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. Her world trap. We are now here for the cold main event, guys. To declare number one contender to Rhea Ripley's BCPW World Women's Championship or Women's Championship. Whatever. Between Cora Jade and Dakota Kai, the ref gets his belt We're to ring to make it official. Cora Jade, and she's been quite clear about her disdain for the establishment. 100% Cole. Already Jade off to the back of Cole's start. Third few versus already happened here. Cora Jade versus the Irish whip. In to a poor back here, Rick and She's out to lay waste to the rest of the roster. The baby stops to the chest of Dakota Kai. Follow the up with a drop kick across the shoulder blades. And a kick to the midsection with the people attacking the fourth third quad part and she kicks it across the goodness. With her impressive offensive arsenal. Carl Coy catches the knee, leg drops the knee of her own. Another Irish reversal by Cora. In her pull back back elbow. Burst for Luke Tempo connects. Jade making her way to the top rope. What goes up? Must come down. The sent on reverse. Coy now capitalising by attacking the knee area, which I'm pretty sure she is probably out injured at the time recording this in real life. She has strained the body. Yeah. Oh, that Roundhouse kick to the midsection. Hurricane runner still attacking the torso of the Kota. There goes Hotel Royal again to the outside with a missile got kick. Coy told to her opponent she days doesn't know what's the care, Alan. Gets up on his shoulders. Drops a face first onto the outside. Cool Jade dropped the hit by the coach for the round house kick. Both women there enter the ring at four. Cool Jade in there first, drops her opponent with Inzaguri. Now with a swinging neck breaker. What a dominant performance by Cora here tonight. 
I'm dropping out of the four arcs. And then vertical leap sent on. We'll make it away to the top run for the third time in this match. And this time the sent on connects. But you can't count anyone out yet. This Salida Del Salvador again. Either way, that was a vicious maneuver by Cora J. Effective and just as dangerous as oh, she is. Cora J. is going to do now. Kick to the body. Double on the hook. DD2 going into the pin here. One, two, five to go to Cora J. This will move from the face of J. Can't put this one away. Corey J now sends Coco into the ropes. Put Corey with the reversal into the floor. Now he drops Corey J with a choke slam back breaker. Quickly to round out to Seattle. And the last one drops through. It's got a coin in there, so boy, he's doing top road. What goes up? Must come down to the first top of earth. He uses a speed that drops Corey J with the hurricane ladder. He rolls out of the way. Oh, cool, Jay, to the roll up, sent on the ring. One, two, and she still kicks her. Cool, Jay, now we pull that roll up, would have won it there for her. Now, Rake in the face of Dakota Cody, maybe trying to blind her. She's now quite the reason. Take away the chance to do my own wrestle. Now, it's happening on the knee of Dakota Cody, doing a taste of her own medicine. Oh, the body's not meant to be stretched that way. So we disrespect to her opponent. Oh, come on over around now. Oh, go to the outside. We all know what she's looking to do next. Uh-oh! Suicide dump on Corey Jade. Couldn't be sure why she should be working on the face here with the BCP to be in the car. We've got a car okay, one from the same thing here though. Cool Jay looking to cut them being short as she power bombs out right and great and swings her back around showing head there. If they can three is Cool Jay sends Coco back in the ring. Going to the top rope yet again, but this time a back elbow. Cool Jay yet again with a double under the hook, DDT. Really nice to land it here. One, two, three, cool and Joe becomes the number one contender for real with the Wings Championship. Here he is, behold the Punisher, Damian Priest on a mission to destroy. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from New York City. Weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Priest has. A powerhouse of positivity has arrived. And his opponent, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds. Big E! Well, right now here for the main event goes between a member of the Judgment Day in Damian Priest against a member of the New Day in Big E to declare number one contender to the BCPW United Kingdom here we Championship. Go with Big e, one of the most entertaining superstars in WWE. Damian Priest the was a singles champion in WWE 2023 Universe last strength. year. I'm not seeing too many smiles from the big man right now, Corey. But across the way, we have the game. Head up into the Rotary A Navy Universe mode. Looking for his first here for the United Kingdom. Ruthless approach to competition. Priest holds nothing back when it comes to his attacks. And the the reversal. Sends Big E into the ropes. What a beautiful flat jump. Do what it takes to serve Priest well. The rock in the elbow. The punish opponents is enough to make them regret ever getting in the ring with him in the first place. Good combination here. Forearm to the back. Elbow, well, back elbow for Big E. Oh, shoot, reverse again by Damien Priest into a poor back by Big E escapes the rock. Evil power, 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 power
of course known for his power game and an explosive offense. Corey, I imagine that Biggie is not the type of superstar you want to try to match in the power game. You can try, but don't be surprised if you fail. Your best bet is really to keep from working Biggie's style from playing his game. Because if Biggie controls the pace, then he'll have the match in hand. He is just reeling from that offense. Statement being made by Priest. Power behind every maneuver he lays in. Uh, I don't know what this is for. I'm just going to go to the bottom. I'm going to Begin on the top row. Double black time. No more Damien Priest. Hold it coming. Begin a wait. Back for the double players for my Priest. So if I'm going to start playing count here. Big E sent into the barricade. No Damien Priest looking to hang him to dry. Falls out with a big boot. Ref now three is Damien Priest looking to enter the ring. He officially enters the four. Damien Priest waiting for Big E now to enter the ring. As the ref counts for Damien Priest getting on the side of the BCPW fans here this evening. But on the top. Top back on here. I think he was right to do that really. By the way, guys, all these matches the were manually loaded up. The only thing I changed was the women's match. It was uh, right, no, in that place. That it was Ray uh, Ripley versus Cora Jade. And I think I'll go from there. And then, uh, we're about to find out. He needs every to get other, and I actually changed one of the teams in the football tag team match so just because the sun was and I'm just trying to get it okay Byron leave the table go start your chant but let's get back into the match commentary big boot to the game drop with a forearm Damien Priest went for Biggie to get to his feet to connect south of heaven going in for the cover here one two three no Biggie kicks out just used every just one of his muscles to get his coming. shoulder up there. Priest clearly thinking, what am I going to have to do to put this one away? Down, glam slam, free fall. Oh no, what's, what's Simon Priest thinking of doing here? Scooped up, tombstone slam. A tombstone slam, ladies and gentlemen. Cold and methodical destruction. I will go for second time this evening already with a second self and COVID going into the cover here. One, two, three. Damien Priest begins the one tender to the BTW and playing to the championship. And if you did enjoy this video, guys, I've been Salvin Alderese. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see all you guys next one. Peace.